Are you a beast at playing Call of Duty? Find out next. Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Bieber, proceed with caution. What is up, gentlemen? On today's video, I'm bringing you 10 facts that can make you a beast at playing Call of Duty. So if you do at least five of these things, then you should be happy because you are on your way into becoming a biblical warfare killing machine beast at Call of Duty. So thing number one, beasts do not need to play in a party 24-7. Now, there's some people that just playing full parties 24 7 every freaking day and it's like they are afraid of playing solo i'm not saying that playing in the full party is bad i'm just saying that if you play in the full party every freaking day you should be playing like uh, on league play or something like that against other full parties because when you play in the full party 24 7 in public matches you are I don't know 90% of the time going to play against uh, random people who uh, don't know each other who are not using a headsets this and that so it's gonna be easy mode you're gonna roll over them so if you're a beast if you are a beast you're not afraid of playing solo because uh, you're not afraid of taking the challenge uh, it's actually fun when you play solo because you n you don't know what type of team uh, what type of teammates you're going to get and sometimes it's just it's hilarious because you see people crouch walking you see people camping in corners you see people trying to access uh, areas that do not belong in the map that uh, they try they're like trying to get outside the map and it's just, it's just freaking hilarious to see that and when you play solo uh, you know with these random dumbass teammates you will actually have to show some uh, let's say skill uh, and try to win the match pretty much by yourself thing number two beasts always play the objective all right i just hate when i lose a match when i get like 12 15 captures and then i look at the at the guy in first place on my team and he has like 60 kills and no fucking flags i just hate that because uh if he had capped maybe three or four flags maybe we, we uh, would have won the match now i'm not saying that beasts always play the objective uh I, with that i'm not saying that uh, you should always get like 10 20 flags i'm just saying that man help your team a little bit and especially don't leave your teammates by themselves capturing flags because that might uh, cost you a win uh, when you just leave your team i mean I, it's just it's crazy when i'm capturing a flag and i see my boys not my boys i mean if you were my boy you would have helped me when i see t my teammates just running around and they don't do anything they don't help and they die this and that and uh, maybe if, it, if they had helped me capture that flag uh, it would have been much better instead of just dying thing number three beasts do not need to spam explosives 24 7 in certain call of duties all you see uh, are noobs using c4 just spamming c4 bam 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 spamming emps also uh, and uh, and also noob tubes man if you need to rely on those things to get kills then you just suck at the game in certain call of duties as i said people just use c4 i don't want to say the name of the call of duty but that's what people you that's what people use uh, most of the time and it's just annoying and uh, instead you should be using a throwing knife for example because it's more fun it takes more skill and that's what beasts do also the frag or the samtex are good choices Thing number four, you do not need to use overpowered guns. I think that those things are for noobs who suck at the game, who will need to get easy kills. And if you're a beast, you will have no problem using any type of weapon. Now, I'm not saying sniper rifles or whatever. I'm just saying you don't need to use the top tier assault rifles, for example. You can use the second, like the medium tier uh, assault rifles. Uh, thing number five, you don't need to use just one gun. Some people, you know, some tryhards just use the same gun over and over again. It's like they're afraid of getting out of their comfort zone. It's like, I don't know, it's just crazy. Sometimes when I'm playing Black Ops 1, uh, I like to click on the... On, uh, the uh, on my opponent's uh, combat record and uh, sometimes all I see are a bunch of freaking noobs with uh, using the FAMAS. They have the FAMAS in first place on their combat record. They have like 70 K kills with the FAMAS and then the weapon in second place has like a thousand kills. So uh, I mean it just I think that you suck if you do that. Thing number six. Beasts do not need to always use the boring overpowered kill streaks just to get kills. Some people just use the same boring ass loadout over and over again like for example v set dogs and whatever it's just it's boring i think that you should give other kill streaks other kill streaks a chance you should uh, you should try to uh, you know have some fun with the little kill streaks because some of them are hysterical to use 
thing number seven beasts do not care about kill death ratio some people just care about that stat so much it's crazy they i i i think that they don't even f they don't even have fun when they're playing the game because they have all this pressure to get lots of kills to not die and uh, they're just camping because uh, if they try to play the objective they might die and they it might ruin their kd and i just think that kd stops people from having fun because if you didn't have to worry about that number if you didn't have to worry about how many times you die i believe that more people would have fun playing the game more people would use different weapons and not the overpowered weapons more people would use fun kill streaks and not the boring overpowered kill streaks more people would play the objective i think that it would be more fun if uh, this if people didn't care so much about kd Thing number eight, beasts do not need to use stealth perks nor sound whoring. Now, I think that sound whoring is, uh, is cheap, is a, it, you know, it's a cheap way of getting kills because uh, Call of Duty should be about who has the best uh, gun skill, who aims first, who shoots first, who has the, the best map knowledge, uh, and not about who has the most expensive headset, who can sound whore better. I just think it sucks and um, it, it just doesn't belong in the game in my opinion it has a, it has always been in the game i believe since call v4 i'm not sure though but it's something that i've always been like man this shit sucks all right it shouldn't it shouldn't be in the game um, and about the stealth perks man i i remember back in call v4 no one used stealth perks because of stopping power and it was a lot of fun because uh, every time there was a, a uav up you could see the entire enemy team and, and vice versa the enemy team also could see us uh, and it was it was fucking hilarious and uh, it was no one there were no little tryhard nerds on gamma labs hiding with their little uh, overpowered silenced weapon you know it was just fun back in the day now there's a uh, there's a time where you should use stealth perks obviously and uh, i also use stealth perks only when i'm playing against a team of a full team of fucking tryhards spamming uavs all game long and um, thing number eight uh, thing number nine gentlemen beasts do not need to camp if you need to camp you probably suck at the game you probably don't know what's going on or you're just trying to patch your kd this and that and uh, i mean beasts don't camp because there ain't no objectives to be played while you're camping while your head glitching behind the barrel the barrel and uh, when you when you're camping you're not playing the game the game is playing you because you're not moving you're just aiming and waiting for people to pass and they pass by or whatever it's just i think it's boring and finally gentlemen beasts do not need to use cuff controllers i think that uh, this is cheating it's like working out it's like bodybuilding and taking steroids at the same time you, you're getting bigger this and that bigger than the uh, other players but uh, you don't deserve it because uh, you're cheating and uh, with scuff controllers it's the same thing everyone else is using a normal controller and uh, you're using a scuff which gives you a uh, uh, a great advantage against everyone else and um, it just it's a cheap way of getting kills and if you need to do this to actually play better then you probably suck at the game and you shouldn't be playing the game so these are 10 things that beasts do and also don't do uh, at playing call of duty uh, as I said, if you do at least five of these things, then you are a fucking animal. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, it's probably because uh, you're not a beast. And uh, you, you were probably either a little camper uh, or a little tryhard on Gamma Legs. A sweaty tryhard on Gamma Labs. And uh, yeah, guys and girls. So uh, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe.